Hi, this is Louis Gave of Long Island Loot Killer on Facebook, Instagram, the web, TikTok, the whole thing, Gregory Bartolota. So I've had this uh, Cantera Negra laying around the house for a while. I think it's uh, distributed from out of Long Island, so I think that's how I acquired it. I've had it a while. I've had the XA. I thought it was okay. Um, so it's a tequila, but they make a big thing about how they blend it, and they they kind of want they they play Alexei on Diagave. Alexei the agave. It's a blend and blah blah. But it's tequila. It's one hundred percent agave. Black rock. Uh, yeah, I mean the the name Cantera Negra means black quarry, I believe in Spanish. So got a nice little volcanic looking because it's from the valley, you know. So matter of fact, I understand they very they take pride in making sure this is grown in the darker black soil of the valley, right? So I never did a review on this. I don't know. That's You've right. tasted it. Um, I I drank to all four expressions. Um, I love the Rapasado. Okay. Um, my favorite of the four. Favorite of the four is the Reposado. They sent me a bunch a long time ago. I never did get around to doing the review. Um, I wasn't crazy about the XA, I remember. I thought it was a little like burnt syrupy kind of thing, but it was it was tasty all the same and very drinkable for they're sure. In that, they're in that 75 to 85 rating type of tequila. So. You think so? Yeah, yeah. So finally we're going to get around to doing it. But what I like about it right off the bat, it doesn't have that vanilla cream soda nonsense that I'm getting in freaking 70% of the tequilas I'm trying lately. So we're doing an impromptu, as you can see, just we're just hanging out, having a great time tonight here on Long Island, ending the summer. And uh, 40 proof, that has a little heat. I know you didn't taste those yet, but. Wait a minute, I get a pinch of the vanilla, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting some softness, you know, I'm getting some sweetness. Not a lot, not a ton of, uh, I don't know, very, I don't know how to describe it's not a lot of stuff going no. on. It's uh, a little muted. Yeah. Let's open up a little that's bit. That's a good way of putting it. It's 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 light vanilla, light sweetness if you want to call it that, and light spice, light fruit, maybe if there's even any. Yeah. Uh, hmm. As soon as it hit the mouth, before I even swallow, the sweetness just jumped out at me, right? There's a lot of sweetness all of a sudden popping around. Actually, it's better than I remember, to be honest with you. Um, the taste is better than the nose, in my opinion. Nose a little muted, I think, because it muted. opens up. Perfect uh, a way to explain it. And in a lot of my cases lately, I've been saying the nose is better than the taste. This is the opposite. Uh, I like it. I like the taste. Yeah. It's enjoyable. A little smoke now on the nose. Not a lot, but a little bit, right? Just a little tiny bit of smoke. I like this Blanco. I could drink this. Cheers. It's not bad at all. I like this. I kind of, uh, you might have said it before. I think I'm going to, you're good. I, I I'm think good. I'm, I think I might definitely put this in the high 70s, low 80 range. This is uh, better than I uh, remember it at first or better than I thought it would be. Um, Cantera Negra. Nice. It's not bad. This is one where I think the, the pure expressions are better than when they age them. Um, like I said, the Blanco, the Raposado have been my favorites in the anyway, actually, you know, not as much. Um, I think this is a pure spirit. It doesn't need any barrel aging. I think they did a nice job. Yeah, um, I don't know if we know how this is actually made um, in the sense uh, of, of the actual production, but I don't. Uh, well, I don't think it was aged in barrels, do you? Like rested for no, up no, to 60 no. days? Because it does have a little bit of softness and sweetness. Wouldn't surprise me. Let me put, uh, let me put the glasses on. Take but you know, um, okay, he's going to check it out. But while he's doing that, um, it's got a sort of, like maybe it's oxygenated, maybe uh, maybe it's rested in stainless or glass. stainless, copper pot, stills, roller milk, crush, double still, stone brick ovens. I mean, it's, it's traditionally made, I mean, short of the roller milk. It's, um, so ovens. Yep. And it doesn't say anything about, you know, aging and uh, no. resting in some wood for a while. Ah. So, yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty solid. Nice <laughs> so, product. Nice yeah, where'd it come from? I mean, glad I grabbed it off the shelf to finally do a review on it. Or, cool. Salute. I'm a solid 79 myself on Tequila Matchmaker. Yeah, I mean, I'm an 80. I'm like a point higher than Nice. So, uh, you know, uh, Cantera Negra, and uh, this is pretty good. All Long Island Loot Tequila with Gregory, and uh, salute. Enjoy. Cheers.